Funding ideas is one of the most challenging thing in photography and that's why I'm making this video just for you. Just let you know that this is the second episode of 15 photos ideas. So after you finish this video, you're going to have extra 15 photos if you haven't watched already the other video. So let's start with the very first idea and this is about black and white photos. There are a tons of different ways on how you can take engaging and super cool dramatic black and white photos. In general, whatever photo you have is going to look good also in black and white. But my suggestion is try to have either a black background or a white background. And then when you put them black and white, they're going to be super, super cool. Then the second idea is about split toning with colors. And the way it works with this one is that you just need to have two different RGB lights on the side, so one on the right and one on the left, and two different colors. And the best way to pick colors is actually using the color wheel. So you can pick contrasting colors like yellow and blue or Magari red, magenta and green. Green. Then it's totally up to you. You can play with different colors and see how the result turn out. Then the third one is another split toning, but in this case, it's just with lights. In this case, you just want to have one strong light on one side and nothing on the other. So you're going to have just one side of your face that has light that you can see it, and the other is completely black. This is extremely dramatic, but it's another idea that you can try it in super, super simple. Then the fourth idea is about mirror photography. In this case, you just need to have a mirror and play around with it with a model. If you have some Photoshop knowledge, some editing knowledge, you can also try to create some cool effects like in this photo. Otherwise, just the reflection itself is going to look great. So it's something that you can try right now. Just take a mirror that you have in your bathroom or just take a photo in your bathroom with a mirror and you're good to go. The fifth photo idea is about a walking shot. Sometimes our photos are way too static. And if we simulate a step, then we can add dynamic to the photo. Hence, it's gonna be more engaging, more exciting, especially if you are outside. Now, remember in this case to use the rule of lead room and lead space. That means you need to leave more space in front of the subject towards its walking side rather than having it the back. So the picture will look more balanced. And also another trick that I use every time is doing this kind of movement, going back and forth, back and forth, and then keep shooting photos. And this way, you're going to be in the same place so you can respect all the composition rules that you want but at the same time it's going to look natural because one of the most difficult part is actually making the step looking natural the sixth idea is about smoking shots so in this case you want to have a cigarette or maybe a cigar or something like that to create some sort of depth in the photo and to create some moody photos so you're just maybe even simulating to smoke and then you can add the smoke in post-production using the overlays as i've done with this photo right here. The cool thing with this type of photo is that you can really act as you were not focused on taking the shot, but you were just, you know, smoking around and maybe assuming just certain poses. Then we have the next photo idea, which is a little bit more difficult than usual, and this is double exposure. So in this case, what you want to do, you want to have a light that is behind the subject so that you're going to create a silhouette effect. In this case, we have a very dark subject, and what we can do with this one is that we can put images inside this silhouette so it's something that you need a little bit of editing knowledge but you can do also with a mobile with Pixar you can do loads of different stuff and if you write double exposure on Google or on Pixar you're gonna find actually loads of different ideas on how you can do this then the eighth step is about levitation photography and even in this case you need a little bit of knowledge for editing because in general when you do some levitation photography you need to have some point of context between you and eventually the floor or whatever you are touching but don't be discouraged because you can also use some free apps like Snapseed with the healing function to then remove maybe the thing that you have below yourself or you can also simulate a jump and in this case you don't need to have any editing skills lastly you can also use some fishing line this is transparent very thin line that can be removed with any app or any software in a very easy way and you can still simulate some floating objects all right and the nine photo idea is about smoking shots using the fog machine. And this is one of the best purchases that I ever made because I actually used it in so many different photos because you can play around with different sort of lightings because it creates amazing rays or you create this haze that is kind of like misty photos. You can take product photos, you can take portraits, you can use it for whatever comes in your mind. It's super useful. And if you have a little bit of budget, I truly suggest you get one. I have the cheapest one on Amazon. I think I pay like 35 or 30 
30 bucks or something like that. All right, if you enjoyed this video so far, before we move to the next idea, please take a moment to hit the like button, subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you so much in advance. The 10th foot idea is about jumping on top of your phone or of your camera. If you have a camera, it's much more difficult. What I did in this case is that I used my Apple Watch to control the shooting time of my phone. You just put the phone down on the floor and then when the time is going off, you're just gonna jump on top of the phone and the result that you can get is pretty cool. Or the 11th foot idea is about a folding effect. So this is very similar, but you just need to have your phone in your hand and then you're gonna lie down, put up your legs, your arms, and then you're gonna snap a photo like you're falling. Then in post-production, you just need to add a little bit of motion blur and the effect that you have is pretty cool. 12th photo idea, super simple. You can do with loads of different stuff and this is product photography. You can have a lot of fun doing some product photos. In this case, I was just using this toy car and then I place on my runner that I have downstairs in my garage and then I try to take some cool photos and the result turned out pretty well. You can shoot any products that you have in your house and here the limit is just your creativity. Even in this case, just find inspiration on Pinterest, on Google or whatever you want and try to imitate something if you don't have any product photo idea. The next photo idea is actually in a self portrait with the car. Doesn't matter what card you have, maybe you can ask one to your friends, to your parents, whatever, and then you can try to take a self-portrait with that car. Obviously here, the most important part is the location. Try to not have any messy background or loads of stuff going on. There should be just you and the car. So find a car park that is empty, find a street that is empty and try to take some shots of yourself with a car. Fourth idea is about food photography. And this is super interesting because I've never done product photo photos in my life and then during the lockdown I was just you know practicing and taking some some shots of this sushi and pasta and they turned out pretty well so I was I was excited because it was something that it was new to me so you should try it as well and then the next photo idea which is actually not a real photo idea but is made of photos this is top motion so still you can play around with the same foot of before and try to make it move in this case you just need to take loads of different shots when you're moving very very slowly the foot without your hand so let's say you take a photo of the food and then you move it, remove your hand, take another photo. And then when you're gonna combine all these photos together, you're gonna obtain some pretty cool results. If you've never tried before, you should definitely try because it's super fun. And if you didn't have enough of these photo ideas, you can check this video where I talk about extra 15 photos ideas. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification bell. And I'm gonna see you in the next video. Ciao.